let's all learn how to knit. I know what you're all going to say. I'm not an 85-year-old granny sitting in a rocking chair at a nursing home. But knitting can actually be beneficial for all ages. Knitting has been proven to be not only beneficial to your physical health, but also your mental health. Today we will go over the materials you need to knit, the steps to knitting, and how it is beneficial to your health. On to our first row, the materials. There are very few materials you need in order to knit. The first being yarn. Pretty easy to find. Um, according to Knit Like Granny, there are 13 different yarns that you can use. I would suggest a thicker yarn such as wool yarn, cotton yarn, or merino yarn, because they're easier to deal with. The next item you need are your needles. Just a warning, they are not toys. Please do not play with them. You can injure somebody, and we don't have time for that. Just like the yarn, there are many different types of needles that you can use, such as thick needles, thin needles, and even some that are attached. With the needles, I would also recommend thicker needles just because, as well, they are easier to use. There are also metal needles, which are my preferred, plastic needles, and bamboo needles. You can find both of these items at Joann Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, Mangelson's, Michael's, and your local Walmart. Now onto our second row, which is the steps. Knitting is very easy, and today I will be showing you how to do a knit stitch. First, you will need a loop. This will be pretty easy. It's not that hard to make, and then you put that onto your needle. According to Studio Knit, the first thing you will do is cast on your stitches. You'll first wrap your yarn around your fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger. The yarn that is closest, the end that's closest to the loop that you just made should be around your pointer finger like this. The other end should be around your thumb like this and then hold it so it doesn't come out of place. Then you go under, your, under the yarn around your thumb and over the yarn around in between both fingers and pull it through, like so. And then you go again, and then again. It is pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. The next thing you're gonna do is create your first row. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your second needle and put it through the hole or the loop and wrap your round your yarn counterclockwise around it and then pull that through the stitch and then pull the stitch off. Again, you put it through, wrap it around, pull it through and then off. Again, this is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Just remember to pull off the stitch and make sure you don't pull any extra stitches off or else you will lose a stitch. That is how you do your rows. The next, when you're finished with your object, you will start a row, basically, and on your second needle, you should only have two stitches at all times, except for when you pull this first stitch that you just did. Just pull it off over and off of the needle, but leave your second stitch on. So you should have gone over your, for, over your second stitch with your first. And then you do the same thing. Start to do a row and pull the second stitch off. Okay. 
You should be left with one stitch. With this stitch, you can take your needle off, and what you do is you make another loop, as like the first stitch you did, and then do it again. Make another loop through that loop, and then pull it tight. And now you've finished your artwork. On to the health benefits. Knitting has been proven to be beneficial for both your mental health and your physical health. According to Mental Health America, knitting has been proven to help with anxiety which many of you get while standing up here. So maybe next time you do your speech, try knitting beforehand. Knitting has also been proven to help with blood pressure, onset dementia, and chronic pain. According to Bria, knitting has been proven to help with your hand-eye coordination, which can be beneficial for you baseball, basketball, and football players. Plus, when you're done, you get something cool at the end of it. Today, we have gone over the materials needed to knit, how to do a knit stitch, and how it is beneficial for your health. You should all learn how to knit because one day the end of the world will come and you'll be sitting there wishing you had a granny to knit you a blanket or a scarf. Thank you.